Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am continuing on with my month of Natasha Denona. And in this video, we are going to be getting the spooky vibes with both the Love and Sunrise palettes. This is what the Sunrise palette looks like. Bada boom. Bada boom. What the heck? This is what the Love palette looks like. And I'm going to be using the reds uh, from both of these palettes, as well as a few of the more kind of fiery, yellowy, golden shades from the Sunrise palette. And I'm going to be doing, as I'm sure you can see, a bit of a devil look. Now, I've already gotten started. I did like this kind of almost clown-like kind of grin situation with my mouth so that I can look a little bit more... I don't know, creepy and sinister? Do you like that? So literally I just kind of overlined out here. I don't know if you can see, but like I overlined out here and then kind of had the bottom lip meet up with that. I used a ColourPop lip liner in the shade. Uh, oh, I have so many of this. This is Bichette, Bichette. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it, but Bichette, I don't know. So that's the liner and then for you know, to fill it in, I used Jack from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection, which is just this gorgeous bright red shade that I love. Then I, as you can see, did some funky stuff with my eyebrows. I kind of brought them out like horns. I took the black from the um, Mothership one from Pat McGrath, the, uh, the shade Extreme Black. It's in all three of the first three motherships from Pat McGrath, but I just took that on a liner brush and just kind of filled in my brows very softly, kind of building it slowly, and then just kind of used that to take this like black shape out here and kind of give it that devilish vibe. And then if you uh, can see my horns, I am wearing some horns. I got those from a Renaissance fair like years ago. Um, for the blush, I'm wearing my About Face again. I'm loving this red blush. Uh, it's in the shade Smash. And then for the highlighter, I'm using from Pat McGrath. Um, this is the one that came free when I bought the Bijou Brilliance stuff. Uh, Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlighter in Golden Moonlight. So that's what I have on. I also put a little bit of it on top of my lip there because I, I feel like I've seen girls do that and kind of cute, so I thought I'd give that a try. Without further ado, let's just get into this though. I want to do a nice red eye look. I want it to kind of come out and be a little like, you know, devilish. And uh, towards the inner corner though, that's where the yellows are going to come in. I want everything to be very kind of like fiery and um, hellish, but like in a fun way. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the shade Heart from the Love palette. I'm using a Refer 14 right now. I'm just gonna take that on here and I'm just gonna get started. I'm just gonna throw it down out here. I'm taking it out pretty far because like I said, I want, I want drama. I want this to be very uh, dramatic and uh, devilish I had considered doing like all of this stuff on camera for you guys to see but I don't know, I thought about it and I was like, that just feels like a lot. It feels like a lot of time, <laughs> you know, filming myself doing all of that stuff. It's, you know, it takes enough time doing that kind of stuff when I'm not on camera, but when I'm on camera, I don't know. It's just like a different, it's a different thing. It takes longer to do stuff when I'm doing it on camera. So I'm starting to bring this like out even further because I want to do like an actual like devil horn shape out here and so I'm just starting to bring this red out here and then we'll kind of 
go from there, you know? I'm gonna kind of start wrapping it up around my eyebrows. My eyebrows come pretty low, so it's gonna be very dramatic because I have to go around them. <laughs> I've considered, like, literally just for the purpose of doing, like, makeup stuff, I've considered maybe trimming my brows out there, like, shaving just, like, this part that comes down. But, I don't know, I feel like that would just be too weird I'm trying to, like, make that work when I'm not wearing makeup and when I'm just, like, out and about in the world trying to look like a regular dude. Okay, I think that for now, this is how I'm going to leave this, and I'll kind of go back to it and do a little bit more with that after, but let's deepen up a little bit. What do you think? I'm going to start by deepening up with Heartbeat from the Love Palette, and uh, we'll see. We'll see from there. I might have to go into Commitment. But I don't know yet. Maybe maybe heartbeat will be enough. Mm, I don't know. Heartbeat isn't a ton deeper than heart. It deepens it up a little, but when we're working with all this drama, we want to make sure we have some depth, right? So I'm just kind of putting it on half the lid as I'm sure you can kind of see. And then I will go in, I think, with Commitment, that kind of dark, almost black. I think it's like an almost black purple. It probably looks black on camera, but I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that it's actually a really dark purple. Okay, so there's that. Now let's deepen it up a little bit more with uh, Commitment. I'm gonna use a smaller brush now. I'm gonna use the 13 from Refer. Just gonna pick up Commitment. Gosh, maybe it is black, I don't know. And I'm gonna put it kind of just in the crease. Just like that. Oh, it does look black. I'm gonna kind of blend it out a little here, kind of. Bringing it up. That definitely added the depth and the drama that I was looking for. It is a little bit of a murky shade though, which I do remember, you know, using the purples in this palette, they can be a little murky. They can be a little kind of like messy. And I think that that was a complaint that other people had about this palette. I'm just going to kind of wing this out just a touch, the uh, Commitment shade, just to bring that depth outwards into the horn shape. Okay, so now I think I might go into the sunrise palette to start getting into the shimmer shadows i had thought about actually dipping into the mini crush for this look because there's a really nice bright red in that palette as well which was part of the reason that i bought that palette but then i was comparing it to the reds that already exist in this palette and it's very, the one in the mini crush is very similar to this red. I think this is the red that we're gonna kind of use because I'm keeping it very fiery. So this one called Phlox uh, is a little bit more, just a little bit more orangey. Whereas this one here called Poppy is a little bit more kind of cool toned and not pinky, but you know, just more cool toned. So I think we're gonna stick with this one called Flox. I'm just gonna use this big ass number 33 from Refer because I really like this one for applying shimmers to the lid. Oh yeah, really picking it up. You see that? Okay, 
and I'm just gonna go right oh yeah oh <laughs> it's so beautiful <laughs> you guys I love red eyeshadow it's one of my absolute favorite colors of eyeshadow to wear. I love it. I've always loved red eyeshadow. Before I even started like playing with eyeshadow myself, I always loved seeing red eyeshadow on other people. Mm, that's really cool. Okay, so I like that. That's really freaking nice. Now though, I want to consider my inner corner because do I want just shimmer on my inner corner or do I want to use one of these kind of yellowy orange shades uh one of the mattes first hmm, I think I do I think I want to use some some matte orange and yellow maybe a little bit of this one just on the very inner part of my lid and then this one down here which is a little more yellow so uh, carnelian on the inner part of the lid there and then citrine on the inner corner what do we think of that let's give it a try so starting with carnelian I'm taking that 13 yeah the refer 13 again and I'm just gonna kind of gently apply to this area Getting those fiery vibes. I'm going to end up topping over both of these mattes a little bit with a sparkly shade. But I just want to get this base down. Ooh, baby. So, is Citrine in another palette? The other shade that I'm going to use in the very inner corner the kind of more yellow shade. I feel like that name is super like, I don't know, it just sticks out to me and it feels like maybe it exists in another palette from the brand. Just softening the blend up here. Okay friends, so with the same brush I'm going into Citrine which is the more yellow shade and I'm just gonna kind of plop it on the inner corner nice inner corner highlight I'm just going to drag it across a tiny bit how does that look devilish <laughs> so i think this might be the shade that i used to top those it's this one here agate agate i don't know how you say it but I'm a little bit nervous that it will be. Oh no, I think that I think that should work. I think that will be a nice inner corner shade for me. I'm gonna take the refer 02. I wanna go in kind of lightly. Actually, maybe I'll start here, like on the lid. Just add some of that shimmer and sheen. Is it pronounced agate? 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 <laughs> okay, so I feel like that brings the fire to the inner corner. I'm liking that. Let me just kind of put just a little bit more. I'm going to put just a little bit more of Phlox, which is the red here, just to kind of merge these together a little bit more. Just very, very softly hitting it. Okay, before we start playing with the kind of devil horn effect, let me put a little something on the lower lash line. I'm not the biggest fan of doing my lower lash line because I don't always love the way that that turns out, but I think that if I go in with this Sigma E15, this nice liner brush, which coincidentally, or not coincidentally, but this is the uh, brush that I used in my eyebrows. I think I meant to say incidentally. I think that's what I meant to say. Uh, I'm going to go in with um, Heart again from the Love palette. And I'm just going to gently 
send that across the lower lash line, just kind of meet it up out here with the uh, kind of horn shape. Hmm. So just like last time, I feel like I brought it a little bit too low out here. I'm just gonna kind of softly blend that out though. I'm gonna use this brush from Odin's Eye. It doesn't have a name, but I'm just gonna kind of hit the lower lash line on both sides with it, just to soften the blend, soften the edge. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of depth down there with um, Commitment again, using the liner brush. So again, that's Commitment, the I guess black shade or like the almost black purple. Just taking it here, bringing it out a little, meeting with the uh, depth on the outer corner on top. Okay. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm actually gonna keep using this liner brush and I'm gonna start to kind of define the shape of this kind of horned situation using, I think I'm gonna just keep using heart, which is the bright red shade that we used up there. And I'm just gonna kind of do this kind of a thing. Just to kind of bring it to a point. Okay, so I don't think that these will ever be like perfectly even, but such is life. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think it looks cute like that? I'm gonna like bring this down just a tiny bit over here because I feel like it's not even with the other side. It doesn't have quite the same shape, but other than that, hmm, I think it looks pretty good. It's like semi-symmetrical. <laughs> okay, so let me do, do you like that? Does that look good? I'm so insecure. I feel like this side comes out a little more, whereas this one doesn't, but like, do I like it this way more? Or do I like it that way more? Let me do liner and um, mascara and I'll come back with the finished look. Okay, so I think that this is the finished result. I do have some eyeliner on and some mascara. I used both of my liquid liners from Sephora and I used a little bit of the um, like gel liner in the Empowered palette from Huda just for this little tiny bit of liner that I have on my lid. And then I used, I was being very meticulous and trying to get it perfect, which is why I used all those products. And then I used the ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade Swerve on my um, waterline, you know, just on the outer part of the waterline. And then again, my Fenty mascara as per usual. But I do hope that you enjoyed this one. I do hope that you thought that it was fun. I'm very pleased with the results. I think that it looks really cool. Got my little devil horns, my little red tie. I've got like the whole thing going on. So I do hope that you enjoyed this. I do hope that you were inspired to play around with your own makeup at home. And uh, I do hope that you are very excited for Halloween because I certainly am. This is probably my favorite holiday of the year, you know, as an adult anyway. You know, when I was a kid, I think it was probably more so Christmas. But as an adult, I like Halloween because, um, you know, you can do fun, spooky things like this. <laughs> I love horror movies. I love everything like spooky and scary. I love like creepy pastas and stuff. So I'm totally into all of that. It's like a whole vibe. And uh, yeah, I definitely hope that you love it too. <laughs> and if you are enjoying this month of Natasha Denona series that I'm doing, please be sure to let me know in the comments, drop a like, and 
I'll be bringing you some more content like this very soon. I'm going to be trying to upload some extra stuff over the coming week because I am going to be off from work and hopefully I'm not going to be dealing with too much other crap and I can stay focused and just do fun makeup content. I also want to have time to like actually rest and chill though. So we'll see. I need to kind of make time for myself. I need to make time for family because I need some healing time as well uh and uh i need to make time to just relax and so somewhere in there though i'm definitely going to be squeezing as much makeup content as i possibly can because i have a lot of different things that i really want to do in time for halloween so hopefully i'll be uploading a ton of videos in the very near future so stay tuned for that and uh, yeah, I will be seeing you very, very soon. I hope you have a great week in the meantime. Peace.